Hey, what's up everybody? 915 Mag here doing a video today. Just wanted to show you a little bit of reef tank maintenance. Most of it looks pretty good, but there's some uh, neglected parts of my tank, and that is the overflows. Most of the part that people pay attention to is the main display. You don't look at the sump, you don't look at the overflows, but those are some important parts to maintain. Overflows because they get filled and clogged up with algae. And the sump, same thing with the sump, uh, detritus, buildup, all kinds of crap in your uh, sump area. So that's what I did today. I went ahead and uh, cleaned out my overflows, the drains, and uh, just made it a little bit easier to clean. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that here in a minute. I've been messing around with my tank all week now, all weekend, during the week, fragging, cleaning up stuff. And I'm finally going to go ahead and take care of the stuff. Xenia, I'm going to chop up the Xenia. It's going to grow right back. Um, I thought it was going to be taken care of with uh, the torches due to their sting. But uh, they grew back like like nothing. Uh, didn't even phase it one bit. But for now, I'm enjoying the top-down views. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you just how dirty my overflows were. Take a minute to look at your overflows. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty bad in your sump as well. Ideally, you don't want to be using glass, but that's all I had. Um, and I came up with this great cocktail. Uh, I would give somebody a free frag or a couple of frags if they wanted to drink this. Um, but as you can see, all of this crap was in the overflows. And uh, that's not even the sump area, to tell you guys the truth. You can see the different colors of the greens and... Uh, pretty nasty guys now the reason I decided to go ahead and do this maintenance is because my tank was still cloudy from messing around I had a filter sock on it and I was wondering why it was still dirty the reason why is because those drains were plugged up with bubble algae algae just all kinds of crap in there and my return pump on this tank is super slow that's probably going to be the next piece of equipment that I get is a DC return pump so I can adjust it I'm still using the Overflow pump from uh, when I had my SEA 45 gallon cube and uh, So you can imagine pumping up six feet into the air on dual returns is super slow uh, Right here. I have some mushrooms that I'm gonna move I'm gonna move these mushrooms because they I don't want my lobos to get destroyed These lobos are pretty awesome because of the color and uh, I just don't want them to get destroyed by those mushrooms The mushrooms are already taking it out on the hammer and uh, they're cool, but uh, you know what? Got to take a take care of the corals that I really like. My next video that I'm going to do is going to be a nighttime gel video. What I'm talking about is the gel. Put it over your light, your lens of your camera, and it takes out all the blue color of your tank that you'll normally get, and it just shows off how the corals look at night. And it's pretty close. You know, there's some gels that over exaggerate the color and things like that but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for my next video because I I like and enjoy those videos so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here hope you guys have a good one I just want to make a short one don't forget to check out your overflows clean out your sumps and uh, bottoms up guys like and subscribe you guys have a good one thanks for watching and take care <laughs>